Question 176. Select the incorrect match. Adipocytes are fat storing cells. That is correct. They are specialized to store fat. Option 2. Chondrocytes secrete matrix which is organized into lamellae. No, it's incorrect. Lamellae are characteristically found in bone. Osteocytes present in spaces called lacunae. That is correct. To understand option 2 and 3, let's look at the histological sections of bone and cartilage students. The bones, these concentric lamellae are present, you can see. And such lamellae are absent in cartilage. No such organization is seen. These are chondrocytes, all these cells. And osteoblasts are lining these concentric lamellae. Thus, option 2 is incorrect. Option 4, erythrocytes, cells carrying oxygen transporting pigment in blood, that is hemoglobin, that is absolutely correct. The answer here would become chondrocytes, that is option 2. Question 177, cells of which tissue are rich in granules of histamine, serotonin and heparin? Mast cells, areolar tissue, macrophages, dense irregular tissue. Students' histamine, serotonin and heparin are secreted by mast cells. These cells have granules which store these substances. And mast cells are found in areolar tissue, which is a loose connective tissue. So cells of which tissue is asked, that's why the correct answer would be areolar tissue, since mast cells are present in areolar tissue. The correct answer here would be option 2. 178. Which of the following prevents leakage of contents of cells of stomach and urinary bladder into blood and neighboring tissues? Gap junctions, communication junctions, adhering junctions or tight junctions? The question is mentioning it prevents leakage of contents and such junctions are tight junctions also known as zona occludens. Such tight junctions also occur in the apical part of epithelial tissue. And these stop substances from leaking across the tissue. So the correct answer here would be option number 4, tight junctions, whereas the gap junctions allow the exchange of ions or cell contents and adhering junctions help cells to be together tightly bound. The correct answer here would be option number 4, tight junctions. 179. Among the following, which secretion is indirectly poured into blood? Sweat, sebum, insulin, saliva. The question is mentioning indirectly poured into blood. And this is the characteristic of endocrine secretions. Let's look at the options. Sweat, sebum, insulin, saliva. Out of these sweat, sebum and saliva are exocrine secretions. So for them, there are specialized ducts present for secreting them. Whereas insulin, insulin is a hormone. It's released from endocrine portion of the pancreas and it's indirectly poured into the blood, which makes it our right answer. The correct answer is insulin, that is option number 3. Question number 180, non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium is not found in pharynx, cervix, buccal cavity, skin. Students, the presence of keratin on an epithelium makes it uh, rough, dry, which aids in the protection. The internal structures of our body do not need such kind of protection. So pharynx, buccal cavity, cervix, which are the internal structures, do not need a keratinized epithelium. Thus, the epithelium found in pharynx, buccal cavity or oral mucosa or cervix would be non-keratinized. Whereas for outer surfaces like skin, protection is one of the important functions. Therefore, the epithelium here is keratinized, which gives it a rough, dry appearance, which suits for its protective function. And also, keratin makes it impermeable to water. This the correct option here would be skin because the skin epithelium is keratinized.
the right answer is option number 4 that's about it students we have come to the end of this AITS session I hope that the paper went well please keep reading your NCRTs and Akash modules and one important tip here when you're reading your concepts please read it with a reverse approach thank you very much